What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. This will be the spoiler free review for Mr. Crockett, which is coming to Hulu in a few weeks. Um, not till October 11th. This is an, another one of my Fantastic Fest reviews. So this film is directed and co-written by Brandon Espy. It is starring Jerrica Hinton, Elvis Nolasco, Aiden Galvin, or Aiden Galvin, Kristen Lloyd, and Alex App Pombi. Now, in 1993, a mysterious children's show host, Mr. Crockett, magically emerges from television sets to kidnap young children, brutally slaying their parents in the process. After Mr. Crockett snatches her son, one determined mother embarks on a perilous quest to track down the demonic entertainer and rescue her boy. Now, I will say Mr. Crockett is one of the best gateway horror films I've seen in a while. Brandon Espy's directorial debut does make me curious to see how he grows as a filmmaker from here because I do see a lot of potential for him to create something great. This is not a great film, but it is a competent film. The entire experience felt like a pleasant fever dream with a lot of inspiration from Nightmare on Elm Street. Think Goosebumps, but Disney managed to actually get it right this time and not those crappy TV shows and movies we've been getting. So a friend like you is a friend like me. A friend like us is a friend like we. That line will make sense once you see the film. This story is set in Sherry Bottom, Pennsylvania. The year is 1993. Kids are going missing and Mr. Crockett's world has become a VHS hit around town. But Mr. Crockett isn't just your ordinary friend like Barney. This man will keep the youth safe from undeserving parents by any means necessary including murder our story centers on summer and major a widow and her son who are just trying to get by major is a bit of a wild child he's at the phase in life where he wants to see how far he can press his mother's buttons summer's doing her best to be patient with major and she even listens to these parenting tip tapes she also she's also doubting her ability to be a good single parent Major's curiosity towards his deceased father is cut short when Summer gives him the Mr. Crockett VHS tape and mysterious, that mysteriously arrives outside. And as you'd expect, she's going to regret giving this to her son. SB takes time to establish the dynamic between not only Summer and Major, but also highlights how different she is compared to what Crockett considers bad parents in town. Summer isn't the only example of a good parent. She joins a couple of others in an attempt to stop Crockett later on. By the time her son goes missing, I care and want to see her get Major back because of the time spent building her up. But before Major goes missing, there's also an appropriate amount of time dedicated to building up Crockett as a convincing threat. So that way, when the boy is snatched, it actually strikes a chord with you as a viewer. Espy even relies on showing the audience versus telling us a bunch of information about Crockett, who is inspired by Freddy Krueger for sure. That is until we get to the third act and Crockett's mystique is flushed down the drain a bit in favor of too much backstory. A backstory that I could have otherwise put together myself considering how well Espy was communicating Crockett's motivations without spoon feeding it to us earlier on. Still, before, the Mr. before Mr. Crockett crumbles a bit, Espy and his co-writer deliver some effective scares by keeping us curious about Crockett's sinister nature during the first two acts. The story tackles its themes of parenting and child abuse effectively enough, but Summer's starting point as a good parent does convince me that the message of the film is more clear or would have been more clear if we were in the shoes of this woman Rhonda this person with a similar story to Summer but she doesn't lead the story for some reason that aspect doesn't work completely because of Rhonda being introduced to the story first so it was a bit jarring to not follow Rhonda as for the dialogue it's not horrendous but man I gotta say the vulgar language at times seems out of place the way certain characters start talking rough and aggressive not aggressive but again just overly vulgar it's just it just takes you out of the suspense of certain scenes or it sucks the suspense away and kind of makes certain terrifying moments to be humorous and i don't know if they were intentionally going for that but it just wasn't working there are some jokes throughout and i will say none of the jokes landed not for me i i, I could see the screenplay being a lot more sinister if you got rid of these jokes the screenplay overall though is fine it's overly formulaic but passable there's even a twist that happens during the third act that you probably will see coming a mile away they make it quite obvious it, it happens during the backstory it's you'll see the, the screenplay again it's passable Espy's direction here is quite good some actors have moments where their delivery could have been better but he definitely brought out the best from everyone involved none more than Elvis Nolasco who stars as our titular Crockett he perfectly captures the double-edged sword that is Emmanuel Crockett he's able to be nice in a very unsettling way and that's always scarier compared to when he just commits to being a full-on kidnapper who's deranged 
the shifts in his tone, the facial expressions, all of it kept Crockett terrifying for me. Jerrica Hinton shines as Summer, the determined mother who will stop at nothing to get her boy back. Her chemistry with Aiden Gavin sells their dynamic and kept the story believable. There's a lot of static shots that are scattered throughout the film, which kept the tension high when necessary and gave you a sense of comfort when it came to the more homely scenes with uh, Aiden and his mother. But the film never seemed to maximize how intense it could have been. Like there's something missing. It, it, it's, it's not as energetic as I wanted it to be. Although SB again does a great job keeping you in suspense the film is paced well it doesn't overstay its welcome and when it comes to those sequences with crockett i'm thinking of the opening scene in particular that scene alone was very scary <laughs> because of the fact that we have a family gathered around the dinner table and we're centering on the tv that still has the mr crockett show playing Things are getting heated at the table, but we're cr we're cutting back and forth between what's happening at the table and them not knowing that the characters on screen have paused and have started to take a glance over in the direction of the table. And the way the camera will often hold on their faces makes the events at the table even more unsettling because you can just feel something is about to happen. The way they built suspense in the movie, again, is just quite effective. The practical effects that are in the film are great when they're present quite quite impressive there's not a lot of gore but when the gore is there it's highly effective and the practical effects are very good all in all i would say i give mr crockett a 6.5 out of 10 i gotta also again just commend the way they try to be scary there's not an over-reliance on jump scares there's not an over-reliance on gore I would have appreciated a little bit more gore, but they really hone in on piquing your curiosity about Mr. Crockett. What is going on with Crockett? What makes him tick? Why is he doing this? And again, all of that was being communicated well without, without it being spoon fed. It's just unfortunate that the story decided to then say, you know what? Forget the less is more approach. Let's just tell you everything for a good two to three minutes. It was a very weird decision. But like I said, it's a great not great but solid gateway horror if you're someone out there who wants to introduce horror to someone mr crockett is fine enough it'll be on hulu again in a few weeks for the october halloween season let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description i have links on my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video